What's up, everybody? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm in the back of a Cadillac DTS. Man, I tell you, the trunk is massive in size. I mean, I'm in here, folks. I mean, just as if an Italian mob boss clunked me upside the head and threw me in the back of this thing. But let me tell you, that's what is really so cool about Cadillacs is the big trunks in them, right? I mean, they're just massive, massive, massive in size. Now, with that being said, they just don't really make a whole lot of vehicles anymore with big trunks like this. Now, I want you to really go back in time, back in the 2000s, and even later than that, really, but the cars that I remember that had massive trunks like this, the Cadillac, DeVille, DTS, let's hop over to Ford for a minute because this is a General Motors product, the Lincoln Town Car, the Lincoln Continental, things like that. Heck, even a Honda Accord had a pretty big trunk back in the day, but nothing near the size of this. And I'm sure there's another, a, a few others as well. But again, Lincoln Town Cars and Cadillac uh, DeVilles and DTSs really seem to kind of stand out in my mind for the cars with the big trunks. So stay with us. We're going to check out some Cadillacs today right here at Southern Motor Company. All right, everybody. Y'all ready to see some Cadillacs like all these years later? I got two of them, believe it or not, a white one and a silver one. Now, what's kind of cool about this, the silver's got the black interior, if you like the darker interior, and the white one's got the tan interior. So we got really two really nice DTSs. Both of them are in great condition, great prices, and I just know there's somebody out there that's been looking for a DTS. So stay with me. All right, so let's go ahead and get this review started today here at SMC. I'm Chad, of course. Now, here's the differences in the two vehicles, right? They look pretty close to the same body style. They probably are. But the silver one is a 2009 model. And the white one is a 2004 model. So that... All right. So here's the differences in the two Cadillacs out here today. The silver one is a 2009. And the white one is a 2006. So that's really the main difference is, is the years. Now also what we have in difference is mileage. Um, the silver one I believe has got right around 110,000 miles and the white one's got like 103,000 miles. So both of them just a little bit over the 100,000 mile mark. Both have chrome wheels, a little different style of rims. And uh, anyways, let's just go ahead and start walking around checking them out a little bit. So back in the years when they made these, the headlights on them are the HID Xenons, as you can see, which look really good at nighttime when cruising down the road or even during the daytime. You got your fogs down in the bottom. They both have the North Star V8 engines. And of course, there's always been a big thing online and people always go, oh, the North Star, it's a terrible engine. You know, yeah, they may have had some issues with North Stars back in the day. But I've always been told as well, as long as you take care of your car and maintenance it and keep up with it, you know, that the North Star engine can last for quite a while. And I'd say that's probably pretty true because here we are in uh, October 2021. And yeah, we got two North Star engines sitting out here running, both over 100,000 miles with some years on them. All right, so wheels, you got Michelin tires, two 3555s with 17 inch chrome wheels and the wheels are in beautiful shape. No curb rash. This one's got the pinstripes with the pearlescent paint. Sunroof, tinted windows. Back tires look good. I like that it's got the Cadillac name and all right there. So that tells me that's probably a factory pinstripe that came on it from the dealer. You got the quad exhaust tips in the back. And then before they had backup cameras and all that stuff, what did they have? They had these right here, backup sensors. The logo letting you know you got the V8 Northstar. The emblem is in good condition. The third brake light. Another thing that I always liked about Cadillacs too was the third brake light and the taillights are LED. So they look really good when you're hitting the blinkers or hitting the brakes and when they're on. LEDs just, they just stand out a little bit more. They're brighter and uh, they're more HD if you can kind of understand what I'm getting at. And this is really about the same exact setup except for a few years newer than 09. Let's see what kind of wheels we got on this one. 
Well, these got brand spanking new tires, which the Michelin's over there in great shape as well. Still a 17 inch wheel, but a little different spoke setup on these. And they're in good shape. Both cars are really nice. This one's got a little bit of, little bit of something right there. But yeah, both Cadillacs got sunroofs. They're very similar as far as options and packages are concerned. All right, stay with me for the next part of the video. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of both cars. All right, let's go ahead and start with the 06 model. There's your interior. Wood trim. You, this one has heated and cooled seats. Both of them have exactly the same. That one over there has heated and cooled seats as well. And then there are the seats. Not really like a tan. I guess this is more of like a quartz, kind of a taupe kind of color. It's a little different, kind of in the in the gray area. Um, but you got the perforated seats. The leather seats are in great shape. No major rips or tears in the top sides of them. There is a little bit of a rip right there where the cloth material is at, but that's really about it. Steering wheel seems to be pretty good. You know, it, it's not as, you know, it's definitely not going to be as techy and futuristic looking as you know the newer Cadillac XTS's um, those are, are just they will blow your mind but um, this one's got 110,000 miles and it's just clean and it's Cadillac and let me tell you folks they ride so nice such a smooth ride in a Cadillac for sure back seats got plenty of room if, if you got some friends or family members that want to ride in the back so there you go you even got rear air vents and you got rear heated seats. So these are probably more along the lines of like a, a premium package car. Let's go ahead and take a look at the silver one, which will have the ebony interior, which is nice. The black looks good. It also, they give you a little bit darker black style wood trim, heated and cooled seats. Leather seems to be about the same on both of them. I like how it's got the Cadillac badge right there. And, um, I mean, honestly, other than color, interior and the whole layout is pretty much exactly the same. Not really a whole lot of difference from a 2009 and a 2006. This one's got a little bit less mileage at 104. So the white one's got 110. This has got 104. Um, they, they, this one's got OnStar. But again, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of differences as far as options are concerned. Even this one's got rear heated seats in the back with three different settings. Still getting an ashtray with a cigarette lighter. And you got your rear air vents right there. So I don't really see a whole lot of difference in the two. There you go. Now let's hop in one of them and take it for a ride. Right, everybody, let's go ahead and hop into Cadillac here and see how she cruises. Now, I'm already, you know, I'm already thinking to myself, okay, this is going to be a nice riding car, right? It's going to ride smooth. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling. Yeah. Anyways, um, so right getting in, the seat's pretty comfortable. It's soft. It's cushy. You know, I've always said in videos before with Cadillacs, it's like sitting sitting in a lazy boy chair they just they make their interiors really comfortable now it is hot in here right now because i have not been running the ac system on the car so let's go ahead and cut it on get that going a little bit all right we're down on 60 degrees and i'm feeling it got the button on it's already starting to cool off i do have the heat uh the cooled seats function on as well let's go ahead and roll our window up see how quiet the cabin is when cruising down the road all right, let's go ahead and switch camera view and let you see right out of this car. All right, let's go ahead and put her in drive and see how she feels. Now I'm gonna turn this down a little bit just so you can kind of hear the vehicle a little more. The, uh, the V8 under the hood here should perform and do pretty well for you. Um, I mean, it's not a, uh, I mean, it's, it's got some power. Wow, sounds good. I like the sound of the engine under there. Um, I 
don't know too many other vehicles on the roads that came with North Star engines other than Cadillacs. I think the Cadillac XLR has a, has a uh, North Star as well. But, you know, people enjoyed driving these for, for a while. I mean, everybody just loves the big American sedan with a V8 and plenty of room to get family and friends inside of it. Um, another thing to think about, too, is... I mean, you can whip it around. It's rear-wheel drive. I mean, it just it handles like a big... Cadillac boat type vehicle, you know, it's pretty easy to drive and The other thing to think about that a lot of people don't think about is you know, it's a big car You got more metal around you. So, you know, if you were to get in some type of accident I would be more concerned about the other vehicle versus your vehicle. I mean this thing's pretty big. It's heavy and uh, You know, it may be a bit safer Let's give it a gas And you definitely can get up and get out of harm's way pretty fast. I mean, I like it. I do. There you go. Yeah. Not too bad. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the North Star. All right, there it is. You know, pretty quiet, not too loud. Anyways, I know there's a lot of folks out there who probably would just love to have one of these. So I'm going to kind of end out the video letting you know that, yes, you can get one of these Cadillacs that we have. It's really pretty simple. You go to my website. Well, let's wait for the, the loud sirens to pass. But if you live in Charleston, Columbia, Myrtle Beach, Savannah, if you live somewhat near here and you want to finance... Go on our website and just fill out the online credit application. That's all you got to do to get started if you're wanting to finance. Now, if you live out of state and you're pretty far from here, you can still buy a car from us. First, you can do a cash deal. You can always wire in the money. You can mail us a certified check. You know, you can go that route and then we'll figure out the price and everything, including shipping. And we can literally ship this vehicle right to your home. For the additional charge but if you live nearby you can finance or pay cash however you want to do it it's really pretty simple for either car but the first step really would be calling the dealership where i work at ask for me i'm chad and say look i like one of those cadillacs i want to buy it what is my options you know if you need help with financing just talk to me i'll let you know but you got to do the online credit application first so we can get the ball rolling and figure out what all needs to be done we really can't help you so much with financing. You know, people call or stop by and they go, uh, hey, uh, I like that GMC Yukon over there. How much money down on it? Well, you're talking about a $40,000 vehicle and I can't really tell you how much down without doing an application and all that because we're not a buy here, pay here car dealership. If we were buy here, pay here on this Cadillac, let's say that's $89.90, I would tell you the down payment is probably gonna be two to 25 down and you know, you'll finance it for three years and there you go, you're automatically approved as long as you have a down payment. But we don't offer buy here, pay here. So I don't know the down payment until we look at your credit application, submit the application and go from there. So think about those things, folks. And uh, if you live out of town and you want one of these and you need to finance, it could be a little more difficult, but basically at that point, um, we can still offer financing through some of the national finance companies we work with, but if we can't get you approved on that level, then you'll need to go somewhere locally in your town where you live at and, and try to get your own financing or find someone to help you like a co co sign or something like that, that lives in the same house as you. There you go. Thanks for watching the video. We got a rainstorm coming. I hope you enjoyed looking at both of the Cadillacs that we have. Again, the white one is $79.90, and this silver one here is $89.90. We'd love to help you out. Thanks again. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and, uh, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to the channel. 
videos popping up every single day and i enjoy doing the short videos as well i know some of the shorts you don't get as much information and all but i do those because i enjoy doing them they're kind of fun doing just a short you know 60 second or less video some of them can be a little funny at times or at least funny to me but um, i hope you enjoy those as well so a little bit of both some long content some short content see you soon hello everyone thank you for joining with us Today I'll be taking you on just a quick test drive to show you what it is like driving a Cadillac DTS. This one happens to be a 2009 model with 104,000 miles, but any model that you're seeing that's kind of looks like this body style, this is what we're driving. So here we go. The North Star V8 cranks up quite nicely and it sounds good. Your gauges and things for climate are digital through here, as you can see right there. You know, it's not gonna be like your newer Cadillac XTSs where you got huge screens and all that. I'm sure there is a way to put a touch screen right there, but this one has just your traditional CD player. Put it in drive. And let's see how she cruises. We'll wait for this nice young lady to walk by. The benefit of, um, of owning this car is, first off, the size of it. You got a lot of room in the trunk to store things. You got a lot of space on the inside to have your friends in here with you. If you're transporting people, things like that. Also, you may be the type of person that enjoys having a four-door car, but you want a V8 engine. And maybe you are not in the situation where you can go out and buy a brand new Dodge Charger or, or Chrysler 300 or something like that with a V8 engine, right? So if that's the situation and you want a sedan with a V8, you have to go out there and find something like this that's a little bit older. Sounds good, doesn't it? Plenty of power. So again, you know, a car like this right now in, uh, in 2021, with this kind of mileage is selling for $89.90. So just around 9,000 bucks. Actually, I missed a turn. Let's go down to the next one. All right, let's give it some more gas for you so you can hear. North Star feels good. You know, there's a lot of folks out there that um, have differing opinions on, on North Star V8 engines. Some people love them, some people hate them. But unfortunately, if you're one of those people that is not a big fan of the North Star, well, there's not really much opportunity for you to buy a Cadillac DTS without it. <laughs> so, so make sure if you buy one, buy one that's in good shape and has been maintained and taken care of, like the two that we have. Shifts through the gears good. Transmission feels nice. Brakes feel good. Handling. AC's ice cold. You got heated and cooled seats. I mean, realistically, this car's got about everything on it that most people would be perfectly fine with having. 